What is going on everybody, Lee Murray King here, back with you with another episode and on this one we are going to be doing a trailer review of the latest Avengers Endgame. The trailer actually dropped this week, it's only 60 seconds long, um, so I'm going to do a reaction uh, video for you so you can see my face and uh, hopefully we'll discuss it and talk about it. So, let's just dive straight in. Let's get down to brass taxes. What is going... Whoa! Camera's a bit close. Should be looking at you. Yo! So, if we change the camera position uh, a bit closer, so you can actually get my facial reaction. So, we are going to do it. Now, I'm probably obviously going to turn the sound down for you guys due to copyright. But yes, just get at it. Hopefully you see my facial expression. Ooh, so we're starting at the HQ. We've been going in short-handed. Yeah, you mean because he killed all our friends? We owe this to everyone who's not in this room. So they've already said they're going in shorthanded. Um, mm, mm, okay. Lost. It's about how much we have left. Pepper's there. Where's the Avengers? We gotta finish this. You trust me? Ooh. I do. Oop. Okay, wow. That actually looks um, pretty sick. Pretty sick. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go through this, aren't we? Okay, uh, I'm going to switch up camera angle because this is a bit too close and personal, I think. Um, so, yeah, you switch camera angles. Right. So, switched up camera angles, yet yeah, go through this footage as clean as I can, actually. So... What have we got here? So obviously we've got the view of um, headquarters, the reveal shot, as they like to call it, from the fence going over. And then we've got Mark Ruffalo, we've got Thor, War Machine, and then we've got Cap, all talking about, you know, how they're getting it done, you know. Basically, they've lost everything, but they still got to fight for it, man. Um, so that's pretty good. And we've got titles. Then we've got a ship, which looks like it's over New York. When it looks at it. Uh, Nebula, Ratchet. So pretty much from the original trailer that they actually dropped, where the Tony and Nebula were going to get back, clearly they're showing that they're getting back. So, yeah. Um... And then we got Pepper. First time I actually seen Pepper. So obviously she's obviously hugging Tony. Kind of mm, don't know if it's the first time she's seen him. Then we've got what looks like a pretty dirty headquarters. But yeah, I don't know if that's been done. Tony flying through the sky. And then we got well, it's either Ronan or Hawkeye. I think he's Ronan now, isn't he? Because look at that tattoo. That is an immense tattoo on his sleeve. Woo! Yeah. Uh, then we got Thor, Captain Marvel. Obviously, we saw that scene. I'm actually quite shocked. Well, we know that's the, um, the end of Captain Marvel. We actually see this scene where um, Thor captures um, his actual um, axe. But whether it actually gets into the movies is another thing. Because as we know, when they do the little snippets at the end of movies, sometimes they're not in it. Uh, this one looks like it could be in it. Um, and then they're all standing there. Uh, the Clint. Now, Clint, does he look a bit different there? From when he had the tattoos? Uh, his hair looks a bit different. Only his hair. But look, we've got Ant Man there. So, we've seen Ant Man there. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, then we got Cap in a different colour suit. Shaking hands. Right, and then we got the ship, and that's going off. So who is actually in the ship finally? We got Ratchet, Captain Marvel. Now why is you know, considering she can fly, 
what is going on. Right, now, as you can see, oh, she's got blonde hair now, ain't she? Not Captain Marvel. Uh, oh, God, yes. So she starts off with ginger hair, but with tint. Well, that's a red hair. Red hair with a bit of blonde. And then when we go into the spaceship, when she's lying there, sitting there, sorry, she's got blonde hair. So there we are. We've got Thor there. We have War Machine. Right, now look at this image. We've got Tony Stark with Spider-Man. So what is that in reference to? Stark Industries looking ominous. Right. That is a huge ass ship there, which looks like two of these circular things, which we saw in Avengers, um, Infinity Wars. Um, them circle things that just spin and spin and spin. It looks like there's two of them go to this huge ship. And the uh, flashes of the mall. Then we get Thanos. Right, now, what looks like they're on this planet. Can't tell what type of planet this is, but that suit Tony Iron Man is wearing kind of looks like the one that was destroyed, and now it's like all back together. So that'd be very interesting. And that time, obviously, we've got Thor on that planet. Uh, that's Captain America. And then we've got Thanos sitting here with his huge shiny sword whatever the hell that is that actually looks pretty sick um avengers in game blah 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 blah. yeah so not long now was it 24th is out so i think the oh 26 uh wow okay so from the first ever trailer they actually dropped to this one Obviously, there's probably tons of fan theories out there of what everything is. But me, obviously, I'm just all about, is the trailer going to be any good? Does it look good? Is it going to live up to the hype? And the answer is yes. That actually looks pretty sick. First trailer was a bit, uh, you just don't know what they were doing. The Russo brothers and everything else. Obviously, we still don't get to see Hulk, the Green Hulk. We see Bruce Banner. Is the Hulk actually going to make an appearance? Kind of hope so. It does look pretty interesting. But yeah, I'm pretty hyped for this one. Let me know what you think if you're hyped for this one, if you're going to see it, how many times you're going to see it. Uh, I think it opens in the UK on a Wednesday evening. Um, fortunately, I won't be seeing that. Mainly because the cost of a babysitter when you go past midnight just increases anyway. <laughs> but no doubt I'll be seeing it on the weekend. Probably try and go twice, three times. Because... It is a three-hour film. They actually released uh, 182 minutes, I think I saw on the cinema website. So, three hours, two minutes. Well, it actually is three hours, two minutes, because obviously, what's like 15 minutes of credit? So, that's going to be really interesting. I'm going to watch this a few more times and get back to you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like this type of thing. Uh, just generally have a look obviously when I do get to see films I'm trying to see Shazam so I'll definitely actually do a proper movie review instead of a trailer review but that one Shazam looks interesting I do like that so yeah we're going to do that so we shall see you on the next one